Okay, it's time to make some stuffing and the turkey for our Thanksgiving meal. Oh, I'm just kind of showing here. I'm just chopping up some bread. Because what? Oh, I hate that. I hate that it does that. Okay, sorry. We're going to dress up this home style stuffing mix. It's okay. It's definitely nothing to write home to. And if you guys could hear the actual audio for this, I am struggling with that bag. I, I, it would not open for me. I don't know why. It was just protesting, so I just got some scissors and cut it open. Okay, so now that we've got the bag open, we can go back to that. We're going to dress up this bag of dressing because, like I said, it's, it's okay. Now, when I'm making dressing, I do add stock to, sorry guys, I'm, oh, I'm fighting with angles. You're gonna see after this clip that I changed the angle completely. It's just the lighting, trying to figure it out in this kitchen still. Anyway, so I'm adding some liquid to the dressing. I just add homemade stock. I was gonna use my hands and I was like, eh, I'm gonna get a spoon. It was a, it's, yeah. Anyway, so we're stirring that up. Trying not to make a mess all over the counter, even more than what there is. Okay. So now we're going to get some seasonings in here. We're going to add salt. Ooh, there we go. Made a mess. I just realized I guess I had tipped you down. Okay, so we're adding salt in. Pepper's next. No, it's not. Parsley's next. I vaguely remember what I put in. Pepper, there it is. Pepper! And then we have get some sage. That wasn't sage, that was rosemary. Sorry, got ahead of myself. Rosemary, we put rosemary in. Does it, Do any of you add rosemary? I do, I just love it. There's the sage. And there's Simba in the background. Okay, now we're gonna get this all stirred up. And that light, oh, the lighting. Oh, I don't change it. Okay, so here we're adding the chopped celery. Celery, it goes in. And then we're going to get keratin. Now these carrots I grew in the garden. Okay, there we go. There's so the, this is oh. the precise moment that I was like, I'm gonna be cool for the camera and I can do this one-handed egg crack. Yeah, as you can see, no, no, I can't really do it. And no, there was no eggshells that got in the stuffing because I did check. Okay, so we're gonna get that all stirred up. And this is where I changed the angle for the lighting. It, it, I'm glad I switched the angle. I wish I would have done it sooner. Sorry about that, but I'm still working on this. Add some more liquid to it. I can't figure out for the life of me why I'm getting the double glitch when I'm doing the editing. I t Eventually, I'll figure out why it's doing it, but right now, I can't figure it out. Okay, so the next scene will be we're stuffing the bird. Okay, now as you're gonna be able to see here, I do add some dehydrated onions. These aren't the ones I originally wanted. They're the only ones I could find, which are the red onions. I My camera just is like, nope, not focusing, not focusing. There we go. Crushed red onions. We're adding those in there because I'm trying to slowly add more onions to my diet to see how much my stomach will handle. So far, we're not doing too bad. Back to the video. All right, so we're gonna add some turkey broth, and then I do add some mushroom broth. I don't remember if I filmed that or not, to be completely honest with you. Now we are, let me rephrase, my son and I, we prefer stuffing versus dressing. What about in your family? Are, are you guys a stuffing type people 
or dressing type people. And you can't say that there is a difference or you can't say there isn't a difference, sorry, because there is a big, big, big difference. Now myself, I try and get as much into the cavity of the bird as I possibly can, as you can tell. Now I'm going for the neck cavity. Now I'm struggling with the neck cavity and then it dawned on me to flip the bird over. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why I've never thought of that before. Sorry, I had to pause the, the recording there because I had to yawn. Okay, so at this point, I almost have everything in there. I am stretching that skin fold to every which way possible I can to get everything in there. I'm determined. And as you can see here very, very soon, I get it all in. I was so proud of myself. Like, I have never been so proud of myself ever. So I'm folding it over and I don't have Q-tips, toothpicks to pin it in place or I would have, but it was actually okay because it ended up by sealing itself shut once I got the oil on here. So you can see I'm washing my hands and I'm doing a real good job. I'm leaving this in here for all the people that say, you don't wash your hands. I just don't film it. Okay. Now, I was going to use it, my sesame oil, and then I realized, wait a minute, I'm going to use the chive oil, because so many people ask me, what do you use it for? Here we go. Um, chive oil. And it, get, it, it really did give it a nice, um, a little bit of a, I want to say earthy-ish flavor to it. Again, washing my hands. You have no idea how often I wash my hands, guys. All right, what do we do next? What do we do next? Dry my hands. That's obvious. Now I'm going to be getting salt. I know I put salt on there, pepper on there. Pepper will be next. Got some sage and this is the last of my sage that I've grown. This year's sage didn't do very well. So I, I've just got to go with it. I was doing a little dance. Don't know why. We're going to put some onions on there. It looks like there is no seasoning on the front of that bird, but I promise you there is. And you can't see where I'm pointing, but there is oil, there is seasoning there. And then we got the mushroom broth going in. And then I do add carrots and celery, but you just can't see it because I did it off camera because I forgot about it. We're putting some smoked paprika on there. It added a really nice flavor. I wasn't sure what it was going to do, but it did. It added a really nice flavor to it. Got some dill because I'm obsessed with dill and I put dill on everything that I can. What else are we doing? I, I think I'm rooting for something at this point because I couldn't remember what it was I wanted. And it's like, you know what? Meh. It's good. So now the bird is going to go into the oven. I put it in at 350 and I cooked. I don't remember what size that bird was. I'm sorry, guys. But it cooked for four hours and turned out beautiful as you can see beautiful it's not burnt i don't i hate that that the camera picks it up like that it's not burnt it's beautiful so i hope you guys enjoyed the video